Hi. Um, as Kul said, I'm quite excited by um, biotechnology, and particularly synthetic biology, mainly because I think it's very accessible, and also because I think it'll sort of dramatically screw with our brains and our world around us. So to show you that it's fairly accessible, I'm going to demonstrate and show you all how to DNA hack yogurt this evening. Um, good, so yogurt. Yogurt's kind of made up of two bacteria. These two bacteria, I'm going to focus on lactobacillus. It's one of the main bacteria in yogurt. Um, swoosh. <laughs> this is what a bacteria looks like. A bacteria is kind of like um, a small chemical factory that's being run by the DNA. The DNA is sort of the computer program for this chemical hardware. And the DNA is that little loop in the middle, and I'll tell you how to rewrite the program. Um, so this is the recipe we're going to follow. This is a transformation protocol for lactobacillus. Um, it'll take about sort of four to five days. So um, I'll show it to you in stages, and I had to prepare some stuff at home earlier. Um, so without further ado, here is um, DNA hacking yogurt. First thing you need is gloves and um, a clean sort of work surface. I light the candle for atmospheric lighting. So the first thing you need to do is you need to have a you need to have a bacteria culture. Now you can buy lactobacillus in a health food store because it's what you do when your um, intestines are a bit funny. That's what you eat. Um, but you can also order cell cultures online. Um, it'll arrive in like a there we go in kind of like a little Eppendorf like this. And culturing cells basically means you need to grow them. So um, you grow them in an incubator. This is an incubator I made myself. Um, it needs to be about 37, 38 degrees. And you need to add them to a medium. So while I do that, I'm going to just skip to the next slide. That's another form of incubator I built earlier. There we go. I want to show you this. So while I add some bacteria to the medium, this medium is just... Um, agar, it's like a seaweed bacteria food, and you put it in the incubator overnight. It takes about eight hours, um, like so. There we go. Now, to write this DNA code, we're going to write the DNA code using open source code from the internet. And anyone can go online on this website called Parts Registry. It's the Registry of Standard Biological Parts. It's sort of the wet dream of all synthetic biologists. And, and within four mouse clicks, you can get down to DNA code. So this is what you look, um, what you look at when you go to partsregistry.org. You can sort of browse by devices. Um, so if you scroll down, you can see browse by devices. You click on a certain device, you get a whole bunch of reporters, for example, genetic reporters. You click on one of them, you get a bit from more information information about who has made it, stuff like that. And then if you get on Get Selected, have I got a pointer? Check out. If you click on Get Selected Sequence, bah, DNA code. So these are like 800, <laughs> 876. You can all try it at home if you don't believe me. Um, these are 876 letters of A, T, C, and G. Um, that's the DNA code. Now, if you send this code off to a lab, um, they'll synthesize it for you. And a DNA synthesizer is sort of like a, like a desktop printer, but instead of printing CMYK, it prints ATCG, and you get the DNA back um, in an envelope, dry it, which is quite powerful, really. Um, so, so this whole standard of, of biological parts, it's, it's just full of these miraculous devices. Um, Last year, I did a project in which I created a bacteria that when you feed it to pigeons, it makes the pigeons um, produce and defecate. It makes the pigeon shit soap. Um, and so you can download the code for that particular device that's in the same parts registry um, with the little help of a scientist. Okay, so for tonight, what about... Um, we, can, we can make this yogurt do anything. So what about... What if... Imagine now we can have this yogurt produce Prozac. What if with your morning breakfast you could have some little antidepressants? So like not just feeding you, it sort of caters for your pharmaceutical needs as well. I think that's spectacular. And then, and then we can add some, some color to it as well. So um, this is slightly red, but it's also very healthy because it's um, beta carotene, which is a, a precursor for vitamin A in your body. Um, so we're going to get all of that inside this um, 
bacteria. Now, when this DNA arrives, you need to um, centrifuge. Um, you mix the DNA with the bacteria you've just grown. You need to centrifuge it down. And um, I'm going to slip this, skip this through. Uh, you give it electroporation, which basically means you give it an electrical shock, like so. This is an electroporator. You can buy them off eBay. They cost about five to 600 euros, I think. Um, and it basically um, opens up the cell boundaries by putting high voltage on it. Um, so here's one I did earlier. So these now are the bacteria cells with the DNA inside, because I've electroporated it earlier. Now what you need to do is, and this is where the candle comes in nicely, um, you need to incubate this under anaerobic conditions. So basically you get a little plate of bacteria food again, which is agar and you streak rather gently the bacteria on the little plate. This plate contains antibiotics. Inside the bacteria, you add a gene that makes it resistant to the antibiotics. So all the bacteria that grow, you know, are the transformed bacteria. You need to incubate it under anaerobic conditions that normally you use quite an expensive device for that sucks out all the oxygen. But you can do it with a Tupperware box, because if you put the candle in the box, burns all the oxygen. <laughs> right, you incubate this for about, there we go. This takes two to three days. So here's one I've done earlier. There we go. And now you can see that the bacteria have kind of grown on there. You can't see it probably. Tape to close. I'll be quick, because I'm running out of time. You harvest the bacteria, so you take a clean loop. You take one of these cells. Um, and you grow them again on the last part of medium. And this basically will be your bacteria you make your yogurt of. This will be a starting culture for your yogurt. Um, basically that happens as you normally make yogurt, you just add milk to it, and the bacteria will transform them into yogurt overnight. And now here is one I've done earlier. And I believe you've all received one as well, so you can all Taste it. Smart look. Thank you very much. <laughs>